Yeah, it looks like Dad's doing more trailer repairs apart from doing bricks. <laughs> Angles. So, so I just gave a brief update on what we've been puddling around with for the last few days. I haven't done much on anything to be honest. Um, I've got a video to put up um, that I haven't touched this for at least 10 or 12 days. Um, you know, because we're away at the weekend, the car show, Cromwell car show, and bits and pieces, and just been doing other things. Um, but you've probably seen that um, Dad's been puddling around with this for a while. Um, he had to get some brake parts because it never had brakes on it. Um, it's about 40 years old or thereabouts. Dad picked this up in second hand, minus the axle in about 87 or somewhere around about there. Um, he got it off a mate of his that <clears throat> it had a um, tandem axle underneath it. Um, and he wanted a bigger trailer, so he took the axles out of it and he made a bigger, longer trailer or something like that. So Dad bought this and just put a single axle underneath it. Um, I'll spin the camera around home. So, um, he got, I think I actually said in one of the early videos, that he got some stub front, stub axles off an old 70s Bedford van. Um, and grabbed a set of brake drums, but... Obviously, he, when he grabbed them, he grabbed a, a 10 inch one and a 9 inch one because, depending on the year, they had different size brakes in them. But anyway, he obviously thought that at some point, um, and I think it was just wheel spacing too, that he would possibly put brakes on it at some point, um, but never really got around to it until now because um, he's going to tap behind the camper and with <coughs> these two bikes on it. And a bit of gear, and then he's gonna he's got a locker top that he puts on it to cover the bikes to keep them out of the weather. Um, it's a bit heavy for the camper to tow. Well, it's not really heavy, but it's sort of borderline. Um, and he's going to the North Island, so he wants to be a bit double secure that that if he has to stop in a hurry, this is going to break as well, um, just to you know make life a bit easier. So. He decided there a while ago that he was going to get, um, he went and searched and he could get brand new backing plates and everything like that. They were just like a universal for nine inch brakes um, and they were bloody perfect. So all he had to do was actually machine off this, oh this is not the right brake drum, but he had to machine this slip off and then get this the drum just machined back, you know, sort of half an inch. Um, so he just got a mate of his to do that. So the brakes were on. He's got to plumb them. But when we went to put the um, sliding cap link on it, I realised that the front of the draw path was really freaking rotten. Um, didn't realise how bad it was. I'll show you over here if it's, the bits are still here. Yeah, maybe not. I've actually got a, another clip of it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, in here. So it looked alright on top, and there was obviously the the tongue was all welded on it, but man, she was rotten on the bottom. Like Dad's mangled it, getting it off, but well, that might have been the top, was it? Yeah, that was the top piece where it was welded on. But so obviously he's mangled it, getting it off. But you can see how thin and rotten it was. And it was mainly because the water couldn't get out. Um, Dad had drilled a hole in it at some point to try and let water out, but it probably should have been right down the bottom, not. Partly up, and it's just rotted out over the years. <laughs> so he cut the um, well focus. So he cut the drawbar back to actually found good solid metal, 
and we've actually, if you can see, we've cut it like this so when we weld it back in um, and get it situated properly it's got a real good strong weld around so it's not just butt welded, it's actually stacked or stepped welded. So while we had this all off and set it all up, we've actually welded it in the V and around the front so you don't have to climb underneath it. You know, the only weld that we have to do underneath is just the bottom of these butt joints. And then we've also got a bit of steel to um, just down there just to, to put a, like a small gusset on each side just to help strengthen it up. Um, so yeah, but so yeah, this trail is like 40 years old, but yeah, so we've just yeah, we've had to renew this piece so you can put the sliding cap link on it because it used to have. Just that one. He just wanted to make sure it had brakes, so so he's got the sliding coupling in the uh, oh, there's the brake piece thing there. So I just got to do that and put that on and weld it on properly. So that's just tacked on there in the meantime. On the top, we've like fully welded it around the bottom, and we've just got that, just getting it all set up. Got a little do a little bit of trimming just to get it to sit in properly, and then we'll go around and V out the um, joins, or we'll probably weld V1 out and weld it and then V the rest out and then weld them all so that's got a real good penetration, nice and strong so that's what we should have been doing at the moment and, um, I really probably haven't got a lot more to do on this but just lots of fiddly shit just sorting out all those last little bits and pieces that for mounting points for different things and just making sure I've got everything right. Um, so hopefully, <clears throat> if I get a chance, because I'm not going anywhere this weekend, except I do have to check something out in a modern car. feels like the steering racks come loose on one side, so I've got to get underneath that and have a decent look at it. Because when we drove to Cromwell, you could, you could hear like it was like a... If you like turned it like it felt like something was moving. Um, but Johnny just only just started to happen, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but so I'm gonna have to get underneath that and have a look. But um <clears throat> yeah, I've only just got little bits and pieces really to do this and then I can start doing the finish prep. Um, like I'm not gonna paint it, but I wanna paint all the inside frame of it and then make all this wood look old, like I said in another video. I'm going to try and make it look like a real old, used, well-used hammer handle. Um, and then I'll, once I've got everything sorted, I'm going to see if I can find some, um, like some sort of Rust-Oleum paint or something like that. Um, maybe a couple of different cans that mimic, see if I can mimic the outside and the frame. And then, yeah, as I said, like all the wood, even the motherboard, I'm going to, Make it look like an old hammer handle, like sort of burn it all, we'll burn it all up and age it all, and, and then it will, yeah, we'll um, clear coat it as well, and then start putting stuff on it. So yeah, hopefully it'll look pretty cool when I'm finished. But anyway, that'll do in the meantime. Cheers.